Greetings from Aspen, Colorado. We're spending one full day in Aspen, Colorado. I'll be sharing some of the best things to do, eat, and see in one full day in this beautiful mountain town. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jeannie. I live in Colorado and I share all sorts of Colorado hiking, day trips, outdoors, and hidden gems on my channel. So be sure to subscribe and follow along so you don't miss out. So we are spending one full day here in Aspen and we're so, so, so excited to be here. We got in last night and I'll show you where we stayed a little bit later on in this vlog because I get so many questions about that but it's gonna be a beautiful day the Sun is just rising it's early it's like six o'clock in the morning but we have some hiking on the list for the day some sightseeing some alpine coaster kind of doing all those things today we're so excited to just kind of hone in spend the day here in Aspen and enjoy a beautiful day so first on the agenda is of course coffee and breakfast <laughs> We're grabbing breakfast and coffee at Paradise Bakery. Right, we just got our breakfast. Oh my gosh. So we got breakfast burritos, uh, cinnamon roll, and we both got mochas. And there's just this cute little sitting area in this cobblestone street with this beautiful view. Cutest little area to have breakfast. The burritos are really, really good. We got some hot sauce. Vince just tried the cinnamon roll. How was it? Is it good? Nice. <laughs> breakfast is so good. And now we are headed to the most photographed spot in Colorado, Maroon Bells. In order to access Maroon Bells from Aspen, reservations are required from May to October. They have parking tickets available and shuttle tickets available. Unfortunately, parking tickets are extremely hard to get, so we ended up taking the shuttle from Aspen Highlands, which was $32 for both of us, plus parking is also additional. The shuttle runs from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And just note, you have to pre-purchase tickets online prior to your arrival. Tickets can be purchased on aspenchamber.org. We are in Aspen Highlands, just waiting for the shuttle. We got here early, so we're just kind of walking around, checking it out. Really pretty little area here. And a little bit we've seen of like Aspen in this area. Oh my gosh, we love it. <laughs> it's so charming. It's like a mix of European, mixed with mountain <coughs> town vibes, mixed with, I don't know. Fancy dress people. Fancy people. Powder bags. <laughs> mixed with hikers. Ralph Lauren stuff. <laughs> <Yeah. No. laughs> you kind of get like all the feels, but it's just, it's so cozy and there's so many trees. So many trees, aspen trees everywhere. Now I know why it's called aspen because literally it's just surrounded by aspen trees everywhere. I mentioned Maroon Bells is the most photographed spot in Colorado, but it's also the most photographed spot in North America. Our shuttle bus driver told us they had to start implementing a shuttle back in the 70s already due to high volumes of people coming to the Bells and all the air pollution from the cars entering the Bells was killing trees and parking got so backed up. So in 1977, a shuttle system began at the Bells. We are here. We are at Maroon Bells in Aspen. Oh my gosh. Just two weeks ago, we were in Ridgeway, Telluride, and Uray area here in Colorado. And we did the Blue Lakes Trail. And in that vlog, I was talking about how it reminded us of the Glacier National Park. Well, I'm pretty sure I can say the same about Maroon Bells. Holy cow. This is amazingly beautiful and so much like Glacier National Park. And the shuttle ride in, even our driver said it reminds him of Glacier National Park. So when he said that, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like my favorite national park I've ever been to. So, oh, this is awesome. So we are hiking to Greater Lake this morning. So the hike to Crater Lake, it's about, I think, 3.6 miles round trip. Shouldn't be too hard of a hike. Nice little short hike this morning before we head back to Aspen and do more fun stuff. All right, we made it to the lake. Crater Lake is right in front of me. Woo there it is, Crater Lake and Maroon Bells. definitely a must do if you come here the hike was pretty easy in general it is you know has a nice incline all the way up but look at that 
reflection. Holy cow. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're back in Aspen, and just to give you an idea, um, the whole morning Maroon Bells was about two hours, and that included the shuttle there and back, which was 25 minutes each way. So hike, shuttle, all that, about, about two hours. We got done about 11, we got to the shuttle at eight. And now we're gonna take the Silver Queen Gondola. The Silver Queen Gondola runs from the Gondola Plaza in downtown Aspen to the top of Aspen Mountain. At 12,000 feet long, the Silver Queen Gondola is one of the longest single-stage gondolas in North America. It brings riders over 11,000 feet in elevation in just 14 minutes. We purchased the single ride, which was $33 per person. We made it to the top. Oh, look at this view. At the top of Aspen Mountain is the Sun Deck restaurant that has a variety of food options and a full bar. We grabbed a mimosa and beer, sat on the deck, and just enjoyed the gorgeous views. It was absolutely beautiful on the top of Aspen Mountain. And we're heading back down. What a beautiful restaurant area. And this gondola is so amazingly long. It just feels like you're on it forever, so you really get to like enjoy the experience. Um, so yeah, it's like, I'd say it's worth the price because it is, you know, a little more spendier than normal. Now we are in a Snowmass Village, which is literally like 20 minutes outside of Aspen. And this is probably a good time to tell you where we stayed last night. So we ended up arriving the night before, so it's like a Thursday night right now. And then we're gonna spend the entire day in Aspen tomorrow, Friday. And I figured I'd show you really quick where we're staying. We literally booked this hotel one week before we came here. And we ended up getting a hotel in Snowmass Village, which is literally like 15, 20 minutes just outside of Aspen. There wasn't much left in Aspen and whatever was left was way out of my budget. <laughs> so we are staying here at the Stonebridge Inn in Snowmass. Really nice hotel here. We have a nice room. We just went and enjoyed the pool. That's why my hair is kind of wet and I kind of look like this. <laughs> so they had a beautiful pool, hot tub area, and we were the only ones in it, which was awesome. I love when that happens. But yeah, this is a nice hotel. It's, you know, nicely dated is how we want to say it. I get so many people asking where we stay when we go to these places. So I figured I'd tell you where we're staying here near Aspen. <laughs> When we were in the pool, the maintenance guy was there and he said, you guys should go up to see the free music just up the mountain behind the hotel. So that's what we're doing. We went and got dressed quick and now we're going to a free concert. So we are going to be doing the Alpine Coaster here in Snowmass. The Alpine Coaster in Snowmass Village is called the Breathtaker. In order to get to it, you have to take the Elkhorn Gondola to the top of Elk Camp Meadows and Lost Forest. The gondola ride is only about 14 minutes and tickets for the gondola and Alpine slide together were $80 per person. This is the coaster. The Breathtaker Alpine Coaster is open during the winter and summer. Once you're fastened in the coaster, you'll enjoy a beautiful ride through the Lost Forest before you get to the top and race down over a mile long track. The ride lasts anywhere from seven to nine minutes where you'll reach speeds up to 28 miles miles per hour. and they have a crepe shack here. So yeah, we gotta go hit that up with crepe. Can't say no to one of those. Here is our crepes. Oh my gosh. I got Nutella with strawberry and Vince got pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> they look so good. All right, we are back in Aspen and right in town, they have a John Denver Sanctuary which is kind of like a park garden area. So we're gonna go walk around and check it out. The John Denver Sanctuary is nestled in the heart of Aspen. It was built in memory of the great singer John Denver. His love of the Rocky Mountains inspired many of his songs and the gardens feature his lyrics etched into river boulders and beautifully placed around the garden. Beautiful, relaxing little area with the stream running past it. So definitely go check it out if you're here. This is a neat little 
little gem here in town. But now we're heading to the Aspen Brewery. I got a froze, which is wine, frozen strawberries, and lemon. And Vince got a Independence Pass IPA. That was the best frozen rose, strawberry, lemon slush I've ever had. That was excellent. <laughs> All right, it is time to eat. We are starving and we are going to White House Tavern. The White House Tavern resides in an 1883 miner's cottage. It has a cozy, intimate atmosphere and a perfect, simple little menu. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks so good. So I got the macho salad and Vince got the Honor Burger. White House Tavern was excellent. It was like the best burger ever. Yeah, he loved like it. Unique, it's so, such a unique flavor and the salad was great. Oh, we loved it. <laughs> We're going right back to where we had breakfast this morning, which was Paradise Bakery, because there's not a lot of ice cream dessert shops here in Aspen that we're finding. There's our ice cream. I got chocolate fudge brownie, and Vince got chocolate chip cookie dough. We're gonna sit right here and eat them. <laughs> this is so good. They even came with a little cookie on top. All right, you guys, so we are on our way out of Aspen, but we're not done yet. So between Aspen and Twin Lakes is Independence Pass, which is one of the highest passes here in Colorado. So we're gonna be driving that, but we're at one stop right now that we wanted to check out, the Grotto's Trail. The Grotto's Day Use Area located just off Independence Pass has a 0.6 mile loop that brings you through beautiful forest, along a river, around ice caves, and a scenic waterfall. Beautiful little ice cave slash waterfall area. Super short little loop, real easy. Now let's go drive Independence Pass. And we have done this drive before when we were out this way to see Leadville. So this will be our second time on Independence Pass. <laughs> Independence Pass is also part of the top of the Rocky Scenic Byway. It passes over the continental divide between Leadville and Aspen, where you'll reach the summit of over 12,000 feet. The views from Independence Pass are breathtaking. It's about a 32 mile long road with twisty turns along the mountain's edge and sharp drop offs and only a few guardrails. The road is seasonal and usually opens at the end of May and closes again at the end of October, beginning in November weather depending. And that's a wrap on our one full day in beautiful Aspen, Colorado. I hope this inspired you on some of the best things to do, eat, and see in one day. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comments and wishing you all an amazing time as you plan your next trip to Aspen, Colorado. Also, don't forget to check out my channel for even more Colorado travel guides and outdoor activities.